so far away from the mic. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God. What's going on, Mac? So, you know, obviously, that I'm a big fan of the rain. Yes. Um, and a big part of what I like about rain is just kind of the general ambience that it creates, you know? Um, I'm not a particularly huge fan of bright lights. I don't particularly like the sun. <laughs> right. So I like when it gets nice and cloudy and it's just like a, a, a nice, like you can still see, but it's pretty dark outside. Yeah. Uh, I also, I love the sound of rain, you know, especially when it's like hitting a window or if you're sitting outside, I love the sound of rain falling everywhere. Uh, I, I like the feeling of rain. I like standing out in rain. Um, I, it, it ruins my hair, but it's worth it just cause I'm a big fan of it. But, um, the, it's been raining a lot this week. It has. And yeah. the last couple of times it's like rained hard. Mm -hmm. Some motherfucker around here <laughs> keeps letting their, their rabid children outside. What? And they've been screaming, like squealing underneath my window. What? You can't let children just run around out in the rain like that. I like, I don't, I don't Who does that. I, it's pissing me off. It's like, I'm trying to enjoy the rain here and your children are squealing and screaming. Can you fucking not? Oh, do you mind? God. Do you want your kid to get shot? I'll shoot them. That's fucking awful. Not you shooting the kid. The kids yelling. Yeah, me shooting the children is a, 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 a service. Yeah, that's, that's appropriate. Absolutely. So, um, it's raining very hard right now. We'll see if we, uh, record any children screaming. It it's raining really hard. Like, yeah, like possibly like your parking lot might flood. The, 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 there's a big puddle underneath my window right now. Like it's 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 definitely it's piling up. They've had flooding like a one of the vendors I buy from at work was like, hey, we're having some problems due to flooding. Our, our delivery is going to be late this week. <laughs> oh, yikes. Damn. But I've been loving it. I can't complain. Yeah, no. Um. And actually, you know what? It's 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 been pretty nice. I I do like the sun to be out. I like the rain, but I do like it when it's sunny. Um, and it's been we've had a good mix like the last couple days where it's been like very like sunny blue skies. Yeah, almost like weird how it's just bouncing back and forth because like today, like, yeah, like an hour ago when I was buying groceries, it was hot as hell, blue skies, right? And now it's torrentially downpouring yeah <laughs> yeah i was uh i was in an account when it started raining i don't know within the last like hour or so and like it was a normal level of daytime brightness when i walked in yeah and yeah. i was like looking at the window as i was walking out and i was like wait what time is it right now i was like it's not yeah. that late and i was like what it's only like like 215 why is it so dark yeah i remember like I, I i was setting up for the podcast and then like i went and sat down at my desk and like my power went out for like 10 seconds and then i like looked out the window and it was like really dark outside like same thing i was like when when did that happen yeah yeah it just kind of just kind of snuck up there weird shit yeah yeah but i'm liking it um anyway what have you been up to this week Oh, not much. Usual, just uh, you know, same old, same old. Working, doing my thing, just you know, rocking out with my cock out. That's that's the way we do it. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. What about you, bro? Well, you know, I I had my uh, my twenty four hour live stream over the weekend. You did, which I I did stop in for for a couple minutes. Yeah, you weren't there long this time. Not kind of disappointing. Not nearly as long. No bit cringe but uh yeah that was that was a lot of fun we had a really good time um played some valheim with uh, uh kyler and jess was there for a good bit oh nice she, she played we played valheim so you know previously our longest game was sea of these in the last one we played for 12 hours mm -hmm. we played Val valheim for 15 hours this time damn uh yeah we were just and we did, we did, we did play something else briefly, but we, but, but then we jumped back into it or not briefly. It was five hours, but we jumped back into it. Yeah. <laughs> it feels brief when it's just all one contained memory. Right, right, right. I got you. But, um, but no, Jess was there for like nine hours. Damn. Nice. Yeah. 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 So Valheim for anyone who doesn't know, it's, it's like a survival game where you're Vikings in like a very Nordic inspired world you you know you build a house uh you build boats you go out and explore you defeat monsters and bosses and there's hard like 
you have to like scavenge for materials and then like using those materials to get better materials, use better materials to get more materials. And I, I played it a ton before the live stream on, 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 on my own live streams. I played like 40 hours of the game. It's really fucking fun. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I wanted to play it for this one and, uh, you know, I, I told Sean, I, I was like, I feel like this is going to be just like Sea of Thieves. Like, we're going to play it for a ton of time because we're just going to get super into it. Yeah. But, like, this game is really fucking good. And I, I think he was skeptical. You know, he didn't really agree or disagree with me actively, but he just kind of, you know, was like, oh, yeah, sure. And yeah. Uh, he ended up having a fucking great time with it. So. Nice. It's just a, it's just a really good, good game to waste some time with. Um, And we had uh, it was really it was really fun playing with. uh kyler and jess uh my friend kyler uh who i worked at camp with oh yeah oh fucking kyler with the yeah. stupid name with the stupid name yeah yeah it's fucking dumbass uh, <laughs> kyler um kyler decided to build like this super complex like three-story house in the game okay but the <laughs> but it just it looked like shit <laughs> Yeah. So we were just like the entire lives and we just kept like giving him shit for how terrible his house looked. Nice. And he kept being like, it's going to look good when it's done. Just you wait once I get this roof on. So he was building, like I said, three stories tall and the game has this system. Like when you're building stuff, it has to like maintain like structural integrity. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you, you know, just built up too high without like building some kind of support system, the things you build, uh, the things that you build to add onto the onto it, eventually just start falling off because they won't be able to like stay up because they are not stable enough. Yeah. So he built this like three story house without really knowing how to do the the stability thing. So <laughs> for a little, so I I want to say like building this house took him like somewhere between like five and eight hours. Jesus. And then he took like four or five hours just trying to get attach a roof to the goddamn thing. What? <laughs> he couldn't do it. Oh, he couldn't get the no. roof to stay on because he built it too tall and too unstable. And I tried to help him. I tried to tell him like, oh, you, if you get this kind of wood, this this kind of wood is more stable than the base kind of wood. Yeah. If you build up like support beams all the way up and he built this whole like it, I, like I suggested like one support beam and that wasn't enough. Uh-huh. So what he built was like a support beam all the way up through the middle. Then that support beam on each floor, like it branched out in four directions onto four other support beams. I mean, it sounds like that would make sense. It, it looked very stable, but it still wasn't enough. Damn. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. That's a long portion of the day to waste on a on a house. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, that's 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 in between us, like taking adventures into like caves and, and dungeons and and doing other shit. But like, you know, every time we'd return to the village, he'd get back to work on his house. Yeah. Meanwhile, mine had been done for hours. Jess wasn't even playing anymore and he couldn't attach his fucking roof. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so eventually he gave up and uh, I gave him the proper amount of shit for that. I like it. <sighs> Fucking Kyler. Mm-hmm. God damn it. Did um, did our boy Austin with the hot mom? Did he did he pop in at all? I think he joined in chat for a bit. It's hard to remember, but he he wasn't in like uh, playing with us at all. Yeah. But yeah, it was a good time. Um, another like fucking Kyler moment, though. Um, uh, he, he, he had told me ahead of time that he might have to leave at some point to like play D&D with some of his friends. Yeah which I forgot about. Um, and when he told me he needed to leave, I was like, Oh shit. Well, I forgot about that. Not, not a big deal. Um, so that's when we took our break from Valheim. We, 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 uh, Sean and I went to play serious Sam two instead, which is an older game, really fucking fun as well. Didn't expect to have a bunch of fun with that game, but we, you know, w- w- we expected to just basically play it while Kyler is gone, but we ended up playing like the entire game, like for like five hours. Yeah. Um, and, and, but like before he left, he, he was like, okay, uh, looks like we're going to do this. It'll probably be like two or three hours. Uh, and I might be back. And I was immediately like, what, 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 what do you mean you might be back? Right. And he was like, well, you know, I didn't get the day off of work tomorrow. I have to go to sleep at some point. And I was like, what? We didn't talk about this. I thought you were going to be here the whole time. What? <laughs> Oh, yikes. He was in fucking warming that he wasn't going to be back. So he did end up coming back. We played through Serious Sam. He was with us for like the, 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 the like three hours of that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we went back into Valheim, played another like two or three hours of that. And then he left. So it was only like three or four hours where it was just me and Sean. Mm-hmm. But the previous live stream, basically a similar thing had happened. Like Rex, my friend Riley needed to leave. 
and uh, Jake just like fell ill in the middle of the live stream. Okay. So he ended up leaving uh, and left Sean and I for like the last four hours and it ended up being super rough because we were both like super exhausted by that point. Yeah. Didn't super have the energy to like create banter and 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 like funny ha ha's by ourselves. Right. So like <laughs> there's literally I, I remember while I was playing we, we were playing we played Phasmophobia and Payday 2 during that time and both during both of those games I, I had distinct moments where I would like just fall asleep and then wake up to myself like running into a wall in the game just because I dozed off for like 10 seconds. Yeah. And so I was sitting there like, oh, God damn it. If it's just gonna be Sean and I, this shit's gonna happen again. I'm gonna be fucking distracted as hell. Not able to make any commentary, barely able to stay awake. awake. But it ended up uh, it ended up being fine. We played some some Sea of Thieves and um, we actually finished off the live stream super strong. We were both like still super awake by the time the live stream ended. So it, it, it was just, it was just really good. It was a really good 24 hour live stream. I'm really happy with that one. Probably one of my, that's the seventh one. Probably one of my favorites. Nice. Nice. Uh, your, your live streams are always a good time. Um, your, at least your 24 hour live streams. I enjoy them. Thanks. Oh, um, <laughs> God damn it. I, I should probably mention this too. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, <laughs> On my birthday, I, I live streamed and I titled the stream. It's my birthday. Give me money. Um, just yes. kind of as a joke. Yeah. But my, my friends ended up taking it seriously. Uh, both Sean and Austin gifted five subscriptions out to people. So that's that's twenty five dollars worth of subscriptions. OK, <laughs> each. So by the time the 24 hour live stream rolled around, I had 19 subscription points. Um, when you get to certain like tiers of having subscriptions you mm -hmm. unlock new emotes for your channel so i already have three emotes okay um sorry no four i have four emotes right now do you have pug champ i don't not yet um <sighs> damn it but you know i needed to get to 25 sub points to get the next emote unlock and like i'd never been closer than right now yeah so i set up an emote goal for the live stream and i just kind of had it on the screen at all times like oh and, and i explained to people like oh if, if we get to this number of subs we can get a new emote Mm -hmm. and then i don't know how this conversation came up but somewhere along the line so you know we're, we're maybe like five hours in the live stream we've gotten like two no no i think only like one subs so we are we're at 20 out of 25 i wanted to get that emote right so my thinking was if we didn't you know get those number of subs naturally i would just gift them myself at the end of the live stream yeah just to get it to 25 you know it wouldn't cost me that much and i get in, i'd get a new emote out of it it'd be worth it right but I don't know in, in the middle of some fucking conversation and I don't know why the fuck I did this. I should have known that I would have sealed my own fate by doing this. Yeah, but I, I was joking with Scorpion one, uh, uh, you know, my viewer Scorpion a classic Scorpion and I was like, I was like, you know what Scorpion if I can if, if I reach the 25 sub points without having to gift any subs myself, I'll wear a, a maid outfit on stream. <laughs> what? <laughs> and 23 hours in still not anywhere close and fucking microwave donates five subscriptions hell yeah <laughs> fuck yeah microwave god damn that is fucking great so thank you microwave for getting us to the emote goal uh curse you past mac for making such a ridiculous promise i didn't think we'd get there so you're gonna wear a maid outfit on stream. I'm gonna wear a maid outfit on stream. I have to fucking buy one now. For <laughs> you're gonna do this for an entire stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm just, I'm like, what the fuck was I think? I should have known as soon as I said that. Like, oh, no, yeah. no, knowing my viewers, they would immediately be like, okay, we have to make sure this gets there. Right. And Sean even <laughs> told me he was like, you know, if 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 it didn't happen on someone, I was gonna donate the subs. So I was screwed either way. Right. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking great. So, so what emote did you unlock? Well, it's just an emote slot. I have to make the emotes myself. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. I, you know, each channel, each channel for affiliates gets custom emotes. So I have a few custom emotes already. Okay. Uh, and I just unlocked a new one. When Pog champ might be the one that I go with. I, we don't have a, a custom captain Mac pog champ emote yet, but hell yeah. We need a poggers poggers emote. Micro suggested an ouchie emote. Cause I say ouchie a lot and I thought that would be a good one too. Huh? Okay. Ooh, Captain Mac hurt his fingy. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about what to do with this live stream, too, because like if I play a video game during my maid outfit live stream, you know, the webcam mostly shows my face. That's not really, you know, in the spirit of it. <laughs> right. We want to see all of what you got to offer. 
<laughs> right. So I'm, I'm trying to think like what I can do that like I guess isn't playing video or maybe I can do fucking VR games. And I was going to say outfit. like DDR. Oh Jesus. That would be a fucking nightmare. I would I would fucking tune in for that entire thing if you're playing DDR in a maid outfit. I don't I don't think I can do that. I think <clears throat> I get banned off of Twitch. You know, there's too much bouncing involved with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess that's true. Yeah. So that's that's going to be interesting when that comes around. Hell yeah. Any idea when that's that's going to be a thing? Uh, I don't know. I have to buy it first. So at some point for sure. Okay. Well, hopefully we don't have to wait until your next 24 hour stream to do that. No, I won't do that. I won't do that. I made a promise. I'll fulfill it. Okay. Can't go back on my word now. Although the idea of you wearing a maid outfit for an entire 24 hours straight is also pretty funny. Don't put ideas in their head. They're going to try to convince me to do this. I mean, all right, we'll see (laughs) if you get like a hundred, a hundred subs by your next 24 hour live stream. I think you need to just wear it the entire time. Shit. I mean, I, that seems like an impossible goal, but I feel like that would kick them into, into action in terms of sub, in terms in terms of sharing my live streams more than anything. Well, guys, you got six months. God Mi- microwave. Noah. Shapu. Sean. Scorpion. That's the one. Austin. <laughs> Jazz. Kyler. <laughs> Come on. Man, I don't know. Hey, you know, earnest sure. wishes to you know make funny haha live streams is not is not enough to get them to share my live streams. I gotta incentivize them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So that's 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 a thing. That's gonna be a thing, whether I like it or not. I can't wait. Like, I don't want you to watch it. <laughs> no, like I I equally parts don't want to watch it, but it's kind of gonna be like a car accident where. Like, you don't want to look at it, but <laughs> there's just some odd, morbid curiosity that you can't stop. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, oof. Reap what I sow. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all right, though. You're having fun. I think it'll be really fucking funny. I'm just not, like, looking forward to it in terms of my anxieties. Yeah. Now, now you're going, like, like straight up just like traditional like black and white french maid right oh, of course what else would i go with? what, uh, what am uh, i gonna dress up as like a hotel worker and be like <laughs> housekeeping <laughs> housekeeping i actually didn't even think about that but yeah no i assumed french maid yeah that's that's the traditional <laughs> thing oh my god that's great uh, uh, the hair is gonna be fucking fantastic <laughs> with like some little like hat type thing we always have like the little frilly thing that sticks out at the front like it should be pretty easy to just slot that over my hair like yeah i really gotta wear like a hat hat yeah but yeah you know uh so yeah long, long story short the 24-hour live stream was fun <laughs> hell yeah hell yeah nice yeah i wish i wish i could have checked in longer i just didn't really have a ton of time it's fine you know things happen um, oh, I just thought of something. This was, it would have been Sunday night. Yeah. Sunday night. I, um, you know, I'm sitting there just watching some TV. Um, I think I might've been playing on my phone too. And I hear a smoke, smoke alarm go off in the hallway. Ooh, I love it. A continuation. Let's go. <laughs> and all of a sudden, like. Maybe 30 seconds later, I hear a knock on my door. Okay. And I open the door and it's a police officer. And he's like, you need to evacuate. There's a fire (laughs) for real this time. Yeah. And I was like, okay, hold on. (laughs) And I like close the door and I put my shoes on and like not long has gone by and I'm not really seeing any smoke, but he like knocks on the door and he was like, come on, you have to go now. So like, Lily and I like go outside and there was a little bit of smoke coming from like one of the bill or one of the, uh, the units on the bottom floor. Um, and they like brought a fan in to like air it out, but like 15, 20 minutes and we all got to go back inside, (laughs) but sounds like a real fucking emergency, but damn, that's twice in like two months now. Yeah. Damn. 
people will be starting fires in your place right plus yours and the carbon monoxide like there's some weird shit happening yeah disasters following us now it's floated now it's flooding outside mm-hmm damn crazy shit we're gonna die gonna be tornadoes and shit all over this bitch we are going to die it's gonna be epic it's gonna be a bit pog yeah it was weird having to actually be like evacuated and stand outside yeah i'm really glad that it wasn't raining because that would not have that wouldn't have been pleasant no no it already kind of sucked as is but yeah don't like that don't want that Uh uh-uh no and there were like kids out there and were they screaming no but they're those little demon spawns that live upstairs and just run around all day you got anything else coming up for the rest of this week not really i'm just playing on a live stream a lot a lot yeah i need i've been bad about being consistent with live streaming lately i gotta get back on that horse so to speak Especially with me not working on a video right now. I got lots of time to work uh, to do live streams. So yeah, that's your thing. You just, you do you man. Uh, I, I finally watched um, the Falcon and the winter soldier this last week. Okay. Um, that's a Disney plus show, obviously centered around the Falcon and the winter soldier, Marvel characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, really good. I was really impressed. Um, it, you know, it's a TV show format rather than movies and you know i i kind of expected it to be kind of like a marvel movie light kind of thing like it okay you, you know like a marvel movie but maybe not as serious maybe not as high production value whatever um but i ended up actually liking it i, I think tv might be a better format for the marvel series than movies now now after having seen that and being currently in the middle of watching wandavision um the movies one of the one of the things that i've always disliked about the movies is their like kind of lack of time spent on characters and their development mm-hmm. because you know it's it's a very action focused genre and like i mentioned in 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 previous podcasts like my favorite marvel movie is iron man 3 which is a heavily character focused movie you know almost black sheep of the family wise like not not many other Marvel movies do that and yeah. i was super disappointed that they didn't carry a lot of what it created into further movies hmm. but the falcon and the winter soldier was very focused on characters like way more than action like there was a lot less action than i was expecting yeah and especially like bucky the winter soldier uh had a had a really really good character arc you know episode to episode and it was just, it was really good. I was really impressed. And I, I, I am now I've changed my opinion on Marvel as a TV series. I think it's actually better than the movies. I, nice. I, I think it's a stronger way to go about it. Cause you can spend more time on the character part oh, of it. Absolutely. To yeah. give the action part of it a lot more weight, which I think is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That is cool. Yeah. And now I'm in the middle of WandaVision and WandaVision is really strong too. I think I like Falcon and the Winter Soldier better, but not for anything in particular. I think you, you, you would think the, the, the premise of WandaVision is kind of cool. Yeah. I've, um, I've heard good things. Um, my friend Ben was watching it and, um, he had me watch the trailer and I thought the trailer, (laughs) I thought it looked really good. And then like once everything went to color, then I was like, eh, I'm kind of over it, <laughs> but I thought like they did a really good job with how everything looked when it was still black and white. Yeah. Well, okay. So I, I do have a slight complaint <clears throat> with the, 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 that part of it. Okay. Um, I think it's so, so for anyone who doesn't know throughout WandaVision, they focus on different decades of television and you know, without, without spoil spoilers, like each episode is like a different decade. So like the okay. first episode is the fifties, second episode is the sixties, uh, third episode when it goes to color for the first time, seventies, eighties, nineties. Okay. Um, so the first two episodes are in black and white because they're, they're the fifties and sixties and they do a really good job of capturing like the look of it, uh huh. but not necessarily the feel of it. Okay. And that's something that really bothered me. Huh? <laughs> so like you had like the outfits, the set, even the script for the most part was all very like accurate to that time period. Okay. But they were still using like modern sound and cinematography practices okay so I, like like the way they, they the way they were filming shots the, the the you know the shots that they were using 
were not consistent with how it would have been done in the 50s. I gotcha. And that just kind of bothered me. It was like you you could have done this like even more faithfully than you have. Yeah. And like, why, why didn't you just go full in on this? Yeah. Why, why didn't you just 100% go like, okay, if we're going to do the fifties, we're going to do it fucking right. We're going to, we're going to follow the way that they shoot things. Yeah. Like they already made a big commitment. Like, right. Just with, by making that the episodes black and white. Yeah. Like, I don't know how much, I don't know how much more effort they were really going to have to put in to do it right. Yeah. So I, I, I found that aspect of it rather frustrating, but for the most part, it's all handled really well. I actually, um, I liked, um, I think the seventies episode in terms of look and feel was probably my favorite. Uh, when they first switched to color, they, they did a really good job with like how the color is, Uh huh. you know, ra- rather than having it look like it was shot on modern cameras. It looks like, you know, the kind of faux color that was used during that time period. Like yeah. The technicolor kind of stuff. I like it. And That's it looked really cool. cool. I liked it. Nice. But yeah. So anyway, I think, uh, I think the Marvel shows are good. I'm looking forward to finishing WandaVision and then watching Loki after, um, I've heard from Jess good things about Loki too. So nice. Yeah. Um, this is on a pretty much completely unrelated note, but I thought about it um, when I now that I brought up that that fire alarm story. Um, so more or less, I had a similar situation where definitely should have there definitely should have been some attention paid and just ignore it was probably probably the advice given. I want to say I was a kid. I want to say this was. Oh, God, like 95, right? Mm-hmm. This is a long ass time ago. I wasn't alive yet. You were not. And I was out. I was out in, in elementary school. At recess, playing on the playground. Classic. Playing on the swings, right? Great fucking time. Right. Me and my bros, like two bros are pushing the other one to like really get it really get each other going trying to go all the way around like every kid tried to do oh yeah like uh like uh inside out boy or girl or whatever what it was a nickelodeon thing we'll we'll, we'll i'll show you later <laughs> all right yeah um yeah wow if you went over the bar you became inside out boy i don't know it was like a weird nickelodeon thing okay <clears throat> um i haven't thought about that in a really long time <laughs> I'm super distracted now. Um, no, but anyway, uh, so at some point I like went up in the air, flew off of the seat and landed on the ground. Ouch. And I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I got knocked out. Oh, nice. Little, yeah. little, 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 uh, a concussion for the young lad. Yeah. And so I, the next thing I remember is this bitch of a playground lady just standing over me. Like as I'm laying on the ground, like lightly kicking me with her shoe, (laughs) yelling at me to get up. And that's that's all she kept saying. And then I like, I went inside and I was like, I don't feel good. Like I can't get up. And she's like, all right, well, fine i'll take you to the nurse so i went to like the school nurse <clears throat> they called i don't know my mom or my dad somebody to come pick me up um as i'm like hanging out in the nurse's office i for sure like like vomit in the sink in the nurse's office which i think is also definitely a sign that you have a concussion <laughs> yeah I, th- I think you're right <laughs> yep and i think the nurse was like nah he's good just let him sleep it off <laughs> That's how you kill a concussed kid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they actually told me to sleep it off, but they didn't seem concerned. But in hindsight, that was probably a concussion. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like one. <laughs> yeah. So apparently back in the 90s, advice was just ignore the concussion. <laughs> <laughs> Man, concussions are scary. Yeah, they can be. Yeah, for, for sure. Yeah. Like I've never had one. But when you think about like, oh, you know, if you go to sleep, you could just, you know never wake up right like i mean kind of like a similar way you know if you had like a like a fire alarm going off or a carbon monoxide detector and you just ignored it and that's fine went to sleep that's fine yeah it is i you're right they're all fine gonna die someday might as well just let it happen 
Oh, yeah, I suppose you're right. It does happen to all of us, doesn't it? Sure does. So, Mac, are you a big granola bar eater? I see you have a giant box of granola bars. I, I mean, I eat one every morning, but it's more or less just because it's quick food. I do like granola bars, but I wouldn't say I'm a big granola bar eater. Okay. Are you, do you, you like the crunchy granola bars? Yeah, for more, sure. More than the chewy? Definitely. Okay. All right. That's fair. Everyone's got their own opinion. Those are just very, crun- very, very crunchy granola. Yeah. Bars. So for anyone who doesn't know, it's the Nature Valley oats and honey one. Um, a lot of people don't like them and I never understood why I fucking love those. I think they're great. I, I like them, but I can only eat them like on rare occasions because they just, they are so crunchy. They are ridiculously crunchy and so dry. I, that, that, that doesn't really bother me, but no, I, I eat one of those every day. Huh. My way to work. I do. I, I wake up with enough time to theoretically make and eat myself breakfast. I just don't. I usually just lay on the couch with Luna and fall asleep instead. Yeah. Because yeah. I wake up at 345 in the goddamn morning. And the last thing I want to do is be awake. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get that. I. Oh, getting up that early is not not enjoyable for me. Not enjoyable for me either. I do. I miss nighttime sometimes, but Yeah. Is what it is. You do need to definitely get back into some more nighttime activities. You've you've talked several times on the podcast about how you miss you miss the night. I do. I, I'm not, maybe I should just for like a few weeks just reverse my sleep schedule. Just you know, instead of waking up and going to work, I wake up, have like an entire day, go to work, and then go to sleep. So I'm asleep during the day. Just go straight nocturnal. I mean, you could do that. Yeah, just just wake up at like ten o'clock at night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that that would work. It's an option. Huh. And so what I did when we did overnights at World Market, I would, uh, I would have my... Uh, uh, um, I would do the opposite of everyone else did. Everyone else would like come in at 10 and then go to sleep after they got home from work. I would get up at 10 and have the rest of my day after work. Yeah, I, I would kind of go back and forth if we were doing it for like a long, a long period. Because mm. um, the first couple of years I was there, I mean, we did it like two like two straight months yeah so i would kind of play around with it and you know that kind of sitch i gotcha sometimes the uh the the non-stop routine can be tiring so you gotta switch it up yeah yeah you gotta you gotta mix that shit up a little bit Mm -hmm. little routine is fine a little too much can I really don't like routine. Um, I don't like how scheduled my own life is. I don't love that. It's the same thing every day. Um, I think I, I I've come to prefer it more than what I had before at world market, you know, working two to 10 one night and five to one the next day. Oh God. Yeah. That was all over the place. That's fucking awful. And like at my current job, like I, I went there planning to like get promoted and move up. And like, they sent me through like their, their, their management training programs. And like, I'm in a situation where like every time, a a promotion opens up nearby people keep asking me if i'm gonna apply for it because they know i'm you know capable of it uh-huh but i'm I'm just i'm not looking for that anymore because yeah. after having not worked that schedule anymore i really don't fucking miss it right and like especially like i i, I like my job i've talked before one like my favorite parts of my job are the fact that i work mostly by myself or i lie mostly on myself by my on myself i can listen to music and stuff while i work like if I already get promoted from here, I'd have to go back to supervising people. And I don't really miss that either. Yeah. Uh, and it, so I, 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 I think I've come to, to, to find that in terms of having a job, I prefer being on a more regular schedule. Uh, it's especially, it's way easier for live streaming and YouTube stuff if I'm on the same schedule every week. Yeah. Um, but were I not working a job were I able to just make a living off of YouTube or Twitch, I would not have such a regular schedule because I don't like it. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I'd rather just do things when I want to do them and sleep when I want to sleep and wake up when I want to wake up. I guess that's what everybody wants. We should uh, cater society to that instead of this bullshit regimented shit. Just do whatever you want. Fuck it. Yeah. Like when you think about it, I I think this pandemic has really shown a lot of people like how unnecessary it is for a lot of jobs to like go in at all. Oh, yeah. Like there's there's so many fucking jobs that like really don't need to be done in an office. Like 
Uh, like uh, like like Sean. Sean's a, 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 is in computer science. He does internships mm-hmm. with like like <gasps> and and whatever else. And mm-hmm. he's been working from home since like the beginning of last year. And it's like so what if if nothing's really changed for you by not going in the office, then why does the office exist? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I think definitely we've we've reached a point where you know like our internet connections are reliable enough to the where we can right do that kind of thing whereas you know even as recently as maybe 10 years ago yeah i gotcha might not have been a really viable solution for that many people yeah and i i I, but i also understand like the thinking of like some people like need to get out of the house or need to be in office and around people and like Mm -hmm. i i think ideally following the pandemic situation i'd hope to see a lot of companies switch to some kind of almost like optional office time thing or like a certain percentage of your hours are required to be in in the office but otherwise it's totally up to you yeah like if you don't want to come in and you don't have to come in you can just work from home as long as the work's getting done like i think that would be ideal for most people obviously that doesn't affect me at all (laughs) i just want that for other people yeah i mean i've heard of a couple companies that um they're like bringing people back like part-time like Three days a week. You pick what three days you want to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. That'd be fine too. Like if, if, if you, if you want to be able to like see your employees and physically speak to them and like, you know, watch them work and make sure they're being efficient. Like that's understandable, but yeah, you don't need them every day to see that. Right. You don't need them all, all their total time works to see that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get that. <clears throat> um, I, I will say, um, from, the times that I have worked in an office, it is communication is far more easier in that type of setting than like the bullshit we'd have to deal with at world market. Be like, Oh, this person's off today or they left at one. And like just an environment where everyone's there working all at the same time every day is really nice for when you have to communicate anything. Yeah. I, uh, I'm sure. Yeah. But you know, whatevs. Retail sucks. That's 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 all it is. Pretty much, yeah. I don't th- I don't think I would have done very well working from home. Like I can't imagine you would have just because you're such an extrovert and like you, <laughs> you 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 I I feel like maybe when you're by yourself you struggle to keep on task. Oh yeah 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 no w- yes absolutely. But for me, like, I feel like I'm way more functional and, and proactive and, and efficient when I work by myself. Yeah. I mean, I guess it all, it kind of all depends on what it is, but I don't think day in and day out working from home every day, I would be very productive by myself. I gotcha. I think that's the ideal situation for me, but it's not what I have. It is not. I've been thinking about pursuing independent freelance editing a little more seriously recently. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I will, but you know, there's so many avenues. Like when I was in high school, like, you know, obviously not that long ago, like five, six years ago, uh, the idea of being a freelance editor is a very daunting idea. Cause the biggest thing is like finding projects or like finding people to pay you. Like it's, it, it, it was hard. It was, it was yeah. very hard, you know. Yeah, it's 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 very hard to work as a freelance uh, uh, creative. But these days, like the internet makes it so much easier, and like especially the introduction over the past few years of websites like Fiverr, where people can just like put up a portfolio of their shit and be like, "Hey, give me this amount of money, I'll edit your shit." Yeah, like it's so easy to like find work, and especially for someone who's like a really good editor like me. Yeah, if I start with like a low cost. And just kind of ramp it over over time. I could find a clientele pretty quickly, I imagine. Yeah. So I've been I've been considering it, but I I, I don't know if I'll pursue it. I it, it it all comes down like the more I think about it, the more I'm reminded that like I don't like editing things for uh, things I'm not personally interested in or the ways I'm not personally interested in. And obviously, if I'm working for a client, they're gonna want what they want, how they want. Right. Which I would find difficult, but you know, maybe doing it as like a trial period to see if I can get over that for the sake of maybe not having to work in retail anymore. (laughs) Yeah. Maybe that's a sacrifice I can make. I don't know. 
Yeah. There's, there's some things that are they're they're very hard for me to let go of, but that that might be one of them I'll have to try to find my way around. I mean, you could always I mean, I know this is literally just making double the work for yourself, but I mean, you could always present multiple options and keep your favorite in your portfolio at least. It would still be something that you design, not necessarily what the client ended up wanting, but I gotcha. Just as an example of what you're capable of. Yeah, I think I should probably pursue it to some degree. I don't know. Obviously, my ideal situation is that Twitch or YouTube work out and I can just do that. <laughs> but, um, right. You know, in, in the case that that isn't reality, do I really want to keep working in retail for the rest of my life? Not really. Nah. I'm, okay, I'm okay with that reality. I can live with that reality. I don't really want that. Yeah. And if I could, especially like with my editing abilities, you know, there's a lot I can do and editors are expensive. <laughs> so uh, if I were to find that clientele and like slowly ramp up my prices, you know, I could, I could theoretically speaking, get to a point where I'm charging enough as an editor that I could work half the amount of time that I do at my retail job and, and earn the same living. Right. You know, yeah. or even, or even a better living. Mm-hmm. Cause again, editors are fucking expensive. Yeah. <laughs> So if I were to pursue that seriously and, and actually try at it, like maybe that would be an option for me. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe just give it a little, maybe just dip that, dip that little toe in there and test that water. I mean, it's like what we were talking about with Canaan. It's like, I practically like I've got, you know, that video editor degree, so to speak. Like, I'm, right. I'm a very skilled editor. There's not a lot I can't do. Mm-hmm. You know, this is my, my editing abilities can work its way into a lot of fields. Yeah, I just haven't pursued it at all because of my personal like feelings on being an editor. Yeah. So, you know, there, there's theoretically an entire world for me out there where I'm not working in retail anymore and I just don't pursue it. And obviously I have my reasons for that. But again, maybe in the pursuit of not working in retail anymore, I can just learn to get over it. <laughs> yeah, that's one option. J- just the other it. option is only fans. <laughs> <laughs> Once right. I get my eight maid outfit on, that ought, that ought to draw in a lot of a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for for sure. Mike is squinting very hard as if to block out any images that might be entering his mind. <laughs> uh, it's all right. <clears throat> uh, oh damn. Okay. Uh, let's see, Luna. What uh, what's she been up to? Being a fucking idiot. Just no, nothing, nothing exciting with her. Not really. I mean, I'm sure I've got something, but I, I can't think of it. Damn it. I don't even see her right now. She might be in my room. Maybe she's in the window or she's in her little bed that she likes to sit in when we record. Yeah. Yeah. She does kind of make it over there. The one by the door. Yeah. She's frequently in that spot when we're done recording. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, French maid, huh? <laughs> Why are you bringing this back up? I don't know. It just it literally just popped back into my head. I think because I, I thought about Luna sitting Luna ne- being black and white. Oh, no, actually, no. Just Luna sitting next to your desk and that being like where you would stream. I got gotcha. dressed as a, a French maid. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking great. Yeah, it's 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 a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. Oh, damn. You should have. uh, You should dress up in a costume for every 24 hour live stream. I would be really uncomfortable to be in a costume for 24 hours. Like, remember you had that like that like pirate costume you had for Halloween that one year? Yeah. Like you should have worn that when you played that that pirate game. I, I, I get what you're saying, but for me, when it comes to 24 hours, I got to be as comfortable as possible so yeah. I can make it 24 hours. Yeah, uh, I, I don't doubt that. That. That's a long time. When I pick out my clothes, I always like try to find like a hoodie or some kind of long sleeve shirt that shirt that isn't particularly heavy. Yeah. So if I so I, I'm not like sitting there caked in my own sweat for 24 hours. Yeah. I always wear my my sweatpants. You know, get some get some drinks and shit. I, I try to make it comfortable so it's as easy as possible. Yeah. What uh, what sort of mukbanging went on this time? Wow, well, we didn't do that this time. Oh, come on. <sighs> I. I this, Doing doing that was not I mean, it was a funny meme, but it wasn't a great idea. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, we starved ourselves for the first eight hours, which sucked in its own right. And then for the rest of this live stream, we both felt kind of gross because we 
were stuffed full of Taco Bell. Yeah. And and like Sean, especially like I, I have a tougher stomach than Sean because I fill myself full of shit all the time. Yeah. But uh, he was really feeling he was really feeling the effects of it towards the end of the live stream. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. It, it happens. Mm, yep. Ta- so. Taco T-Bell will do that to you. Yeah. Funny meme, but not a great idea. Yeah. I like it, though. Definitely need to get more interactive with with your your videos. I, I, I do enjoy when I can when I can pop in and interact with with your with, I guess, our listeners, your viewers, our listeners. Yeah. Speaking speaking of our listeners, I don't know if these are just like random like one off listens that we get from places around the world. But do you ever look at where some of our listens come from? Nope. <laughs> We we have at least one play from Cambodia. <laughs> Sick. Right? Like that's it's pretty fucking legit. I think it's Cambodia. Maybe it's Croatia. I don't know. Same, same some fucking non-America place. Who fucking cares? Yeah, I don't know. But like I'll just periodically check and I'm like, what? South Africa? Where did that come from? It's really interesting. But apparently somebody likes this around the world. I would hope so. I don't even know if they have electricity in Cambodia. <laughs> I don't really understand how this works. I, I, I would assume they do because somehow someone got on their little iPhone and watched us in Cambodia. I mean, apparently, I don't know. Maybe they were doing some VPN shit, right? Isn't that how that works? They would still need electricity to use a VPN. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, maybe they're in the U S just saying they're in Cambodia. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. Maybe. Isn't that how a VPN would work? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. I learn about things like VPN. Hooray for you. Yeah. Remember you teach me about stuff like that. I did. I remember now that we talked about that. Yeah. You and you and Sean had to better call Saul. Yeah. (laughs) Season five. Uh Uh-huh. That's the one through a VPN. I know Andre was always a big VPN guy. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, because he wanted to get all of his like Brazilian channels. That makes sense. I mean, it does. It totally makes sense. But he was like, oh, yeah, I use my VPN. Like, I don't even know what the fuck that means. And so he 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 explained it to me like years ago. So I kind of get it. But they're great. ISP doesn't know what the fuck you're doing. I don't know. Can't steal your data if you don't give them any data. Oh, hell yeah. I kind of don't care if they take my data. It's fine. You're why they do. Yeah. Can we talk about how phone companies are just, or phone and internet companies are just the fucking worst? Um, yeah, we can. Why, why? Sp- yeah, I'm not disagreeing with you, but why, why do you bring that up currently? Because I, I recently had to contact X, contact Xfinity because my quote unquote contract was up and my bill went up in price. So I had to like, oh yeah, quote unquote renegotiate it, which we all, we, we all know what this is. You know, I, I pay a certain amount of money at a quote unquote discounted price for 12 months. And then my contract ends. Then you call them, you say, Hey, my bill went up. I want to cancel. Oh, look at this. We have a special price just for you. It's exactly the price you were paying before for like another 12 months. That's fucking weird. Right. How weird is that? That's so weird that we would happen to have two deals exactly when you needed to re- renew your subscription both fucking times. Right. It's almost like that's the always intended price and we're screwing over the idiots who don't know that. Right. And even then it's fucking ridiculously expensive. Like, yeah, for how shitty American internet is, our internet is ridiculously expensive. I did, I did get a really, really good deal on my package last summer. Yeah, I, I will say that I've got. Granted, I don't have like super fast internet because I don't really need that. But I mean, I've got cable boxes in two rooms, and so I've got like a TV package and internet. And I got a 24 month deal for, I think like, I think at the end of the day, it's like 109 a month, like 108 a month. Maybe I thought that was pretty good. I pay a lot less than that probably cause I don't have cable probably. Uh, and I have no need for it, but I still pay way too much and I, I have very fast internet, but it's really not worth the cost. When I think about how little they're charging people in South Korea, it's fucked up. 
Yeah. Internet service providers are thieves, perhaps more than landlords. We talked about that before. Right? How much does it cost to upkeep internet? Not as much as they charge you. Not as much. I, I, I wouldn't think so. No. It Ma- seemed- maintenance has to be done. Upgrades have to be made. Not, not as much as they charge you for. No, I, I wouldn't think so. I remember when I don't, I, I feel like I talked about this at some point. I don't remember. I remember when I fucking, I moved apartments. Um, you know, I, I had to move my service. And so I let them know I was going to do that. And they were like, oh, do you need your, your, your internet installed? And I was like, nope, I'm just going to move my shit. I'll take care of it. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. It'll be fine. Yeah. So I do that. I set it up and uh, I get my next bill and oh, there's a charge for moving and taking care of all the setup by myself. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I, I've, I've definitely heard of them doing that kind of thing. Like, what, 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 what the fuck did you do that required an extra fourteen bucks on my fucking bill? You did nothing. Yeah, you did absolutely nothing. There was zero reason for you to be charging me extra for this. I did all of it. Oh, God. you cannot convince me that switching internet off of one place and switching on in another cost me fourteen bucks. That's a lie. You're right. a liar. Right. You're a dirty, dirty cheat. So but I'll keep buying your internet because I don't have any other fucking choice. So did you get it all resolved? Did they take that off your bill? No, of course not. Did you try to get them to take it off your bill? No, because they told me ahead of time that it was going to cost money, but I was just like, this is bullshit. Okay. I don't, I don't have any it, power to. It is bullshit, but at least you, you weren't blindsided. No, you at least, at least they did let you know about that. But yeah. Bunch of fucking cheats, bunch of fucking money grubbing cheats. Bunch. Well, and they make you have like a compatible like modem or router. Yeah. Which I think I'm pretty sure they just use so that they can share your connection. Probably. Probably. Cause like all those Xfinity hotspots, I think they just pull from like I'm pretty yeah, I'm pretty sure they just use your router. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you're right. Yeah. Uh, fuck ISPs, fuck landlords, fuck capitalism, fuck Amazon, fuck Jeff Bezos. Uh, fuck them all. Fuck Mr. Incredible. <laughs> that dude, that is one hot cartoon dad once he gets his shit back together. <laughs> when he fucking tightens himself up, hell yeah. Man's built like a house. Like a brick house. He is shaped very odd. He is like very huge at the top. He has very little legs. Yes. <laughs> I realize it's to accentuate how strong he is. Right. But his legs are very tiny. He, yeah. He has very little legs. And fucking uh, Elastigirl carries the legs in the family. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and the dump truck ass. Hell Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, she's got a dummy thick ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, Mr. Incredible. Good looking dude, but yeah, no, he's just way too top heavy. He's a, he's, he's, he's a big lad. Yeah. If you, in fact, if, if you if you if you cut off his legs and replace them with Elastigirls, you'd have one regular sized person, I think. Oh damn, you might be pretty close. Yeah. Do do we think Mr. Incredible has like like a small wiener then because his his legs are so small. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, that seems likely. Like do you think he's just got this like tiny little shrimp dick? Got a little chode down there. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Damn, that sucks. Right? At least I managed to pump 3 kids out of it, so. Yeah, I mean, I, well, I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't work. No, I'm, I'm but you know, I'm, I'm saying he's he's still getting some. Right. I mean, you see a dude that you see a dude that's that jacked, like you're hoping he's getting, he's at least getting some, you know, mm-hmm. but yeah, with this tiny little chode, I can't imagine. Did the, did his, did his car, the Incredibile, like have a really loud engine? I, I feel like it probably did. I think it may have started out that way. Like in the beginning when he's all like, I think, yeah, I think it has like fat. the jet burners and like, like zooms out of there. Yeah. That's telling. That's telling. It's compensating for something. We all know those guys who rev their engines at two in the morning. No one thinks that who who's sitting there like, God, that guy's so fucking cool. <laughs> nobody, right? Nobody, nobody, no, nobody actually thinks that. No, nobody thinks you're cool for that. No, we all just think you have a tiny penis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. 
No, no. But just no, we do think that. Yeah, and like no one has ever been like, you hear that dude revving his car? I bet you that dude is hung like a horse. No, <laughs> no. No one's no one's ever thought that. No. Everyone's like, dude, that guy's gotta have a really tiny dick. Yeah. Poor guys. Oh man. Yeah. Sorry, fellas. Sorry. Feel bad for for some dudes, right? Yeah. Can't relate though. Got a massive fucking horse cock. <laughs> <laughs> right I'm gonna have to find like an extra long maid dress to cover it up <laughs> uh, or maybe maybe wear a snake sock <laughs> an extra long snake sock underneath your maid's outfit mm-hmm. <clears throat> maybe get yourself a banana hammock yeah something gotta, gotta, gotta keep it contained can't get banned off twitch for this shit I like it I like it you're gonna gonna have your little duster and everything. <laughs> if the if it comes with one, I don't have a duster, so okay. Wait, do I? Oh, I do. I bet I do. Oh. But it's not like a classic one. It's like a Swiffer. Oh, yeah, that doesn't. No. I mean, that's still funny, but it's not that funny. Mm-mm. Fuck. All right. Well, duster. Duster. I hardly know her. Oh. <laughs> that's uh. That's what I would say. Well, not to. Yeah, I. Who am I kidding? I'd say that to you as a maid. <laughs> Duster. <laughs> I barely know her. Oh, good. I'm glad you can respect our lack of a relationship. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say no. I, I couldn't say that to you, but yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's so fucking stupid. Even though I know you pretty well, I could still dust her. I barely know her. Mm. Um, God, I really, I really do enjoy that joke. It's funny. It is it never stops being funny. No, maybe it, it'll maybe it'll cool off for a bit, but it always comes back out of sheer she, like the sheer irony of how long it's been going. Yeah. Let's see, I feel like I had something else I wanted to talk to you about. Today. Now these are all long stories. Bofa, huh? Bofa, Bofa, Bofa. These nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! What are we just gonna talk about? Fitness, fitness, dick in your ass. <laughs> I saw that fitness spread at some store the other day and I just started cracking up. Nice. Oh, uh, that Candace loves that. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, didn't you, didn't you like send me a video of a guy that got like really offended by someone making a fitness joke? Like he was <laughs> like, like, yeah, I'm trying to remember that video. I, well, I know I did, but I don't remember what his reaction. I know he was pissed. Like he, like he, he was, was like, like, why would you say that? Yeah. Like he was like a personal trainer or something. <laughs> and someone told that like fitness dick joke. And he did not find that at all funny. No, he did not take that well. Guess he's not that into fitness. I guess not. Dude likes working out. Doesn't really care much about fitness. I, I, I love I love seeing grown men just overreact to uh, like stupid jokes like that. Yeah. Like God, one of my, the fucking, one of the fucking best videos is, is that, that video of Sugar Ray outside of some concert. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, who the fuck said Sugar Gay? <laughs> it's like it's so fucking why do you care right why do you care it's such a stupid joke yeah okay i'll I'll, I'll tell you that you can beat that fucking guy up you call me sugar gay it's like who who cares yeah really go 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 (laughs) rev your engine yeah you 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 made your your joke you you made your your stage name you know replaceable with the word gay that's on you yeah the only person you should be mad at is yourself Pretty much. Yeah. God, and you haven't been relevant for like 20 years. Yeah. Let's be that one hit wonder pressure. God. Yeah. He God, Yeah. Cause he was a big thing in like late nineties, early two thousands mm-hmm. <clears throat> had a couple hits. And then I think he just became like a, like a celebrity judge. That sounds about right. A lot of, a lot of them go that route. Yeah. Um, but no, I haven't heard anything about him in a while. Good old, good old Mark McGrath. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Sugar Gay, come on the podcast. Hell yeah, we'll have you on. As long as we can call you Sugar Gay the entire time. Sugar Gay! 
You can rev your engine every time we do, though, if that would make you feel better. That's fine. Just to, you know, assert your dominance over us. I, I imagine you probably have like a like an engine revving app that you have on your phone so that <laughs> like if you ever just need to fucking show off and you're not in your car, you just whip that out and just start revving it up. That'd do it. Yeah. That'd do it. That'd, that'd get the point across. I'm insecure. <laughs> <laughs> right. Look at me. I'm insecure. Look at how big my phone is. <laughs> That's right. You got one of those like tablet sized phones. Look at how big my phone is and how loud this this engine revving app is. It doesn't even fit in my fucking my fucking pocket. I gotta carry a purse around. But it's not gay. It's, it's not gay. It's for my phone. It's, it's my not, phone case. It's not gay if it's in a three-way. <laughs> Fine. What, what, you, you think because I carry a purse, I'm not a man? I'll, fuck, I'll, rev, I'll rev my engine and prove you wrong. Yeah. Yeah, watch this. It's called a shoulder bag. <laughs> it's a man's bag. It's European. <laughs> Sounds like something Marco would say. They wear these things all over France. All the guys wear these. Yeah, you know what? They also eat those fucking stupid baguettes everywhere in France. Everybody um, hates France, right, Canan? Right. God, we're never gonna have any French viewers. No. I don't I don't think we have anyone that's listened from France. Mm. We have, we do have viewers from all over Europe, but not France. I can live with that. I also don't think we have any, any listeners from Flint either, which I think is really funny. <laughs> do they know how to work computers out there? Or? Probably not. Fucking toids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking gutter trash. Haven't talked about them. Not in a bit. Not in a bit. Nah. All the rain seems to have cooled down. It does. And it looks like it got maybe slightly lighter outside, but still pretty cloudy. Yeah. Yeah. It's still pretty dark. It kind of makes me a little sleepy. I'm pretty sleepy. I mean, I, I, I forgot to set my alarm this morning, so I've been sleepy since the morning because I had a rough start. You know, all that can just fuck your entire day. Right? Yeah. When you start the day on the morning after, it's just, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, whatever <laughs> yeah oh it's it's really bad if you start out the week like that like like if you start out literally like the beginning of your work week on a bad note you're just setting yourself up for that whole week to not be great yeah it's no good it's the worst fucking feeling i <laughs> I, 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 I like woke up to the sound of my phone alarm which is my backup alarm and i immediately like i turned it off and i was like god damn it <laughs> Like my phone alarm gives me plenty of time to like get up and get ready, but it's just one of those things where it's like, this is not the time I wanted to start. This is not when I was supposed to be awake. Yeah. Well, everybody, that was a podcast episode. Yeah. Yay. Thanks for tuning in to episode 24. That's one. That's the one. Come back next week for episode 25. Right. And the week after that, Episode 26. Rev those engines. And the week after that, don't ever guess. <laughs>